Hello there guys, and welcome back to Project Castaway. So, I've made it over to this island. Being on that one, I think it was. Only one problem. I left Wilson over there. So I'm going to have to go and get Wilson back, because he's our friend. But I've been quite busy, because sleeping on the sand, with the sand flies, and the crabs, I've made a box. I've made a box. I've made more boxes. I've made round boxes. So yeah, I've been a little bit busy getting some materials ready. I'm off the ground. I've got myself a proper enclosed place now. I mean, it really could do with some ferns on the roof, some palm ferns on the roof to keep the water out, because obviously, you know, that's going to drip through, but got myself a bed, got myself a little rack where I can put things, another little box where I can put things, and obviously we've got a fire going, so we're doing all right. Uh, we're doing all right. I do need some water, which I have just here. Now let's fill that up. So yeah, I kind of collected everything. Uh, this one I th think we've read already. I think we need to go through that one, which I haven't picked up yet. Uh, which obviously we'll do a bit later. Uh, but I've sort of been around the entire island. I've searched everywhere. Oh, I also put these up. Yeah. I put a few, uh, put a few bird snares. And in fact, luck would have it we have ourselves a seagull which is good Let's reset this but what I thought we would do <clears throat> I've been around the entire island and as far as I can tell the only threat is the Komodo who did actually attack me whilst I was putting this together so yeah, that's the only thing, is that the Komodo, who sort of patrols, I'm guessing that's his house over there in that cave. So we need to get rid of him. But in order to do that, I need to build myself, not that one, I want the crossbow. We need this. So we need rope, which we can have right here. Okay, we've got a bow, and then we need the arrows. Yeah, I needed the feathers for the arrows, too. Oh, I've got no more small sticks. Hang on. Uh, that's empty. Let's just take two of those. Chop these up. There we go. Again. Right. How many arrows did that give us? Oh, we've got quite a few. So, yes, we should now have this thing. Right. Poop. Don't want the poop. There's another small stick there. Take that. There he is. Once we get rid of him, you can see everything I've deforested here. Quite a lot of stuff I've been through to get this up and going. It doesn't take that much resource, but it does take quite a long time to, um, to get it all up. I, this little butterfly seems to be a bit stuck. Actually, two of them. So, let's just put them out of their misery. There we go. Also, I've got some barrels. I want to extend the raft a little bit. Um, I want to make it a bit wider, and I want to go head back and get Wilson. That's that. Screws and bolts. What's that? A rotten banana. No, no, we don't want that. Um, where? There they are. I'm sort of piling everything I can. Nope. Yeah. Stuff falls out of your inventory quite easily. You want to watch that. Uh, let's cook up that bird quickly before we go anywhere. Whilst the fire's going. Let's cook you up. Um, 
Do we need the axe? No, we can put the axe down. So we've just got the wooden bow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, extend out the raft. And then go and get Wilson back. Problem is, I cannot remember where he is. But that's what we want to do today. But first things first. Let's get rid of this big boy. Now, I hope this is going to go well. He's also going to give me some good old meat. There is just the one of you, right? Right. Come on, then. Oh, he's running. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Skin him. Oh, do did we, did we get leather from this? No, but we get Komodo skin. Look at all the seagulls coming in for their pickings. Oh, what a shot. Where did my arrow go? There it is. I want the feathers, mainly. We need the feathers. Right. Um, so, what did we get from that? We got Komodo skin. So, I'm guessing that will be panning station. Okay, let's get that out in the sun as well. So we need four rope and six sticks. That should be one, two, three, four. That's perfect. Four and six sticks. Oh, now I need my axe back again because I just used those sticks. Right, where are you? There we go. Right, sticks. I feel a lot safer. Is that a stick? A small stick. Knowing that the... Uh, Komodo is no longer after me. And I can sleep a bit easier at night. This island is now safe. Because like I said, I've, I've searched everywhere. And uh, there's no big cats that I can see. <laughs> there's no other Komodos that I can see. It was just him who was in my way. He is now gone. which makes me feel a lot safer. And we can get some... I'm assuming this will be leather. Let's put that in there. Oh, that's small sticks. Long one. Large sticks. There we go. That's... <coughs> hmm. Hang hide. There we go. Ooh, 24 hours. Okay, that's going to take a bit of time. Oh, hang on. More feathers. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I didn't miss that time. Skin you. Give me the feathers. I don't know what these beaks are for. That was a strong-ass crab. Did you see that? Uh, there we go. Get rid of that. And can we make a few more arrows? I don't know how many we can make in total. Ah, stone shard. Okay. Should have some of those. Yes, we do. We are being busy. Small stick. Okay. It's full up. I'm full. Okay. Let's add those. That's empty. Um, what am I doing? I think we should... What is the time? It's 10 o'clock. Yeah, I think we should go and get Wilson. Uh, let's just put this feather down. And there's another hide there. We've got two uncooked things here. Right, we've got quite a few uncooked things and the fire's gone out. Um, okay, let's just pop those down there. We've got quite a lot of raw meat here. That's not good. Right, okay, let's go and get Wilson before we forget about him, and then we'll come back and we'll read that note. 
let's go and get Wilson. Because we definitely want him. Come on, get on the raft. There we go. And then I also want to expand this raft a bit as well. Because it's a bit on the tight side. What is that? Yucca leaf. Yeah. And I've put that right in the middle so I can't really see. So I think I'm going to add another two sides and then put one there and one there so I can see in the middle when I'm, you know, steering. But we are surviving. We're getting there. We are surviving. Which is the most important thing, but I cannot for the life of me remember where Wilson is. I'm just going to head straight to that beach direct. I'm not going to go round. There's another island just up there in the distance. There's quite a few islands around here. But this island is the dangerous one. This is the one that's got all the creepy crawlies and the spiders and the jaguars and... Yeah. That one's home. That's a safe island for now. But I think we're going to stay there as our main island. And just use the raft to go around. I do also want to extend it. Um, I need to get some more storage things. I would show you now, but there's a very nasty bug that if you open your backpack or the book on the raft, you basically just get shot into the moon. So avoid opening your backpack. Okay, Wilson should be over there, right? Avoid opening your backpack on the raft. Uh, I also, I've got two barrels and one tyre, so I need some more tyres and maybe some more barrels. Unless we extend the raft this side. This is dangerous, this island. There's my old plane, look. Oh, I see you there. Yeah, okay, let's just get away from these rocks. Okay, there's a barrel and there's a tyre. In fact, there's two tires. Oh no, this is where the kitty cat is. Ooh, is Wilson here or is Wilson over there? Oh, I don't know anymore. Right. Let's get this on here. Right, that should do. Okay, now I've got to keep my wits about me. I don't see any movement. No, Wilson's not here. He's at the other one down the beach. Okay, let's head down the beach then. I really want to check out what's in there too. There might be some useful materials in there. Maybe we'll do that on the way back. I'm just so worried about that bloody cat sneaking up on me. No, Wilson's at that one. Because that's the built up one, yeah. Keeping out for these spiders as well. That's a crab. That music though. Mr. Wilson, you should be in here, right? This is where I left you. Have a quick drink. Pop that off. There he is. Okay, you're coming back with me. Sorry, fella. I completely forgot about you when I left. I was in such a hurry. I was in such a hurry to get off this island. But I forgot Mr. Wilson. But I'm glad I've got him back. He's going to be our friend. 
He's going to be our protector. He will be. Ooh, two tyres. Okay. Two tyres there and a barrel. And one tyre there. Mm, I need another barrel. That cat. Ooh, is that a cat? Don't know. I didn't see. Um, place Wilson in there. Oh, I don't know if I should risk this. Let's just... Can I see the cat? Something there. Can we climb up here? Get up, get up, get up, get up. Ooh, Komodo there. Spider there. Yeah, this place is dangerous as hell. Another spider there. Right, I think I'm just going to grab... Oh, whatever that is. Shit. Shit. Got him. I don't know if I got the other blueprint. I didn't even get to see what it was. Shark repellent. Ooh, that's going to be handy. Um, right. Raft. We need to do something with this raft. But I don't... We've got two tyres, so what we can do... Let's use that one. Wait. There we go. And we get these tires. Oh, the weather's turning now. Which is not good. Right, one. The only problem is, is that we need some logs. I'm really, really cautious about that Jaguar or whatever it is. So we just need logs now. Yeah, I'm not going to stick around here, I don't think. I'm going to go over there. I don't like... Ooh, that's a dead one. Oh, that one's not there. Oh, it's a dragonfly. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, because I seem to be okay over here. Nothing really came out and attacked me. What is that? That's never a good sign, is it? Alright, let's be quick about this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Back up. Give me two logs. And I need three. Shit. In fact, I need another barrel still yet as well. It's a shame that the weather has turned. I really didn't want that to happen. Just keeping my eyes peeled. On two. No, I'm not going to risk it. I started chopping down those trees for that hut, but the jaguar came out, or leopard, or whatever cat it is. I think it's a jaguar. I think it's a jaguar. I've got the right spots of a jag. So I'm just going to stick to this bit here, keeping my eyes peeled, go down, go down, go down, thank you, oi, almost took my head off, right we just need one more, actually no we don't, we need more than that don't we, 
we're going to double up. We need more than that. We really don't want that thing to come charging at me. Okay. That one's done. We do need another barrel, though. And I can't... Ah, there's another... Oh, maybe I can do another tyre. Hang on. Yeah. Take these sticks. Maybe I can do two tyres again? I think there's one more tyre. Just drop you down there. And I'm pretty sure there's another tyre just behind these rocks. Am I right? I am right. Okay. We can do tyres then. That's fine. So, let's drop you down there. And then let's add another one on this side. And then... Did... Oh no, Wilson! No, no. Why did you jump out? How did you do that? Add those. Add that. We need two more logs. That's fine. That's okay. We can manage two more logs. We can manage two more logs. Although, having said that, I've only got 9% of my axe left. That's a crab. That's a toy toys. Also take the coconut. Okay, there's one log there. Get this down. Come on. Come on. 3%. Okay, my axe is broken. That was good timing, that was. There we go. Okay. Uh, but I also need rope. I do have the spinny wheel. Just over there. And I've also got plenty of cloth lying around. There we go. Okay, that's made that a bit... Bigger. I need to. Yeah, I need the hammer, which I don't have. For that, you need a stone shard and a small stick. Okay, so we need a stone. And I'm pretty sure I saw a stone here. I need to smash it. There we go. We'll need the cloth. And wasn't there. A load of cloth back here. Ooh, bug repellent. Yes, there we go. That's what I need. And maybe another stone? For an axe? At least the weather's changing again now, for the better. There's only so much... Oh, there was another barrel there. There's only so much... Oh! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! No, 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 no! Did you see how quickly he came for me? Now, I'm not playing with that. Okay, let's not go that way. He came charging. He wanted his breakfast. Not today, Mr. Kitty Cat. Not today. Uh, right. I need a hammer. Because I need to demolish that one. Actually, let's do this facing the beach. <laughs> so I can see. Then what we need 
as we want. One there. And we want one there. And that needs... Uh, yeah. So we need large sticks now. There's one here. Add you. Right, large sticks are easy enough to get. In fact, there should be two logs over here that I can break up already. Where are they? There they are. Let's just move these away from the forest. Hello, Toitos. Okay, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm hitting it with the wrong thing, you idiot. Oh, I need a... Yeah, that's a point. I need rope. Damn. Can you break that up? Oh, that's taking a long time. Crap. I'm going to have to scour... Oh, no. Ooh, ruined the microwave. I wonder what we get from this. Oh, wow. Oh, no, stay still. Heat sink. Power cell. Microprocessor. Glass. Okay. Uh, I need some rope. And I don't think... I've got any yucca, have I? Well, I've got one. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Have a drink whilst we're here. There we go. Yeah, okay. Now I've got my axe back. Whew. I'm glad I had that one piece of yucca on the boat. Or the raft. Come on. There we go. Right, this should be everything we need now to get the bigger raft on. And then I think we're going to head back because it's getting 4pm. So it's going to be getting dark very soon. These logs are heavy. I still want to search that plane, but I don't know. Now's not the time to do it. It's getting dark. It's getting late. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's head back. Come on. Get that out into the water. Wilson, you're still there. Avoid my plane. That's much better. Let's see. Now I can actually see where I'm going. That's much, much better. Let's try and avoid the shark. Wilson? Okay, Wilson's there. It's a bit jerky. Oh, hang on. Jaws is here. I want to avoid Jaws. Yeah, it's a bit jerky. Oh, there's Jaws. Oh, that's scary as hell. Leave me alone. Hopefully that'll scare him off a bit. A few arrows in his face. I hate sharks. I really hate sharks. They're just killing machines, is all they are. They will just destroy you in seconds. And the thought of being dragged underwater. Oh, God. 
That's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Right. Yeah. The sun is definitely beginning to go down now. We're almost there. This is so much better now that I can actually see what I'm doing. We can always extend it. I think I might extend it a bit further that way, actually. Because we've got quite a few islands to hop to. And, uh... Yeah, this is still a little bit small. But we can get to that when we... We can get to that bridge when the time is right. Okay, we have arrived. Those down. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he shouldn't go away. Right, Wilson, where are you? There he is. Right. Wilson. Uh, what do we need for... Uh, I can't even remember where it is now. Where is it? Farming? Wilson Scarecrow. Rope, cloth, and Wilson. Where should we put Wilson? Should we put him here looking out to the ocean? And the only trouble is I can't tell... Okay, that's his back. Yeah. Let's put him here, look. So we need two large sticks. Cloth. Oh, I've got plenty of cloth. Uh, rope. Ah. Rope I don't have. Okay. Uh, do I have any rope in here? Hang on. Maybe I've got some in here. No. It's very difficult to see. Um, right, I need to find a yucca. Um, I need to find a yucca, and I think... I think I saw some over here. Yes, there we go. What we need. Right, that should give me enough rope. Inventory full. Okay, what is the time? Yeah, 8 o'clock. It's time for bed, really. They're all good. Oh, we've got another birdie. It's fine. Let's get some rope going. Inventory full. Crap. Uh, okay, let's eat some dinner. Let's have a coconut. How many do we need? Uh, two. One more. Oh, he's done. There he is. Hello, Wilson. Look at that with the little cloth on as well. That's really cool. Right. Um... Get the fire going. Don't really want this to go out. Come on. There we go. Okay. And whilst we're here, let's have a nice juicy steak. There we go. Where is it? There it is. A good juicy steak. That's what we like. Right, okay. Let's hit the sack and see what tomorrow brings. Okay. Five o'clock in the morning. They need cooking. They haven't gone rotten. Raw. Raw. Let's cook them up. Have a coconut for breakfast. And let's have a little bit of crab for breakfast as well. Why not? Oh yeah, we got all of this stuff as well. This is why I need to do some expanding. That one's done. That one's done. Right, let's just... Dump this stuff here that I don't need. A heat sink. Power cell. Microprocessor. Let's leave the yucca by the spinning wheel. 
At least we know where that is. Glass? There's one piece. I can't see. There's another storm coming now. Right, and a lot of food. And the rope. Okay. Right. Let's read this note. And see what they say. Sit on the step. And let's see what this note is about. Where is it? Blackwood Chronicles. I found this note. Day one. We set sail from the port of London with the high hopes of dreams and discovering the forbaded lands. Not forbaded. Fabled lands. Rumoured to lie across the vast Pacific. Our fleet of three merchant ships laden with precious goods and driven by the spirit of adventure did push forth into the unknown. I take it that the spelling mistakes are like that on purpose? <laughs> As the captain of the lead ship, I, Captain Edward Blackwood, did bear the weight of this mission upon mine shoulders. Day 15. The sea hath been kind to us thus far. We have encountered favourable, I'm guessing, winds and calm waters. Our crew of 100 men, wow, including seasoned sailors and merchants, are in good spirits. They speak of the riches that await us in the undiscovered lands, tales passed down through generations, and the honour of bearing the first established trade with these mythical regions. The mood aboard the ship hath shifted. We have entered uncharted waters, and the sea hath become unpredictable. Storms do batter the ships, and whispers of distant of discontent spread among the men. Some questions of existence of these fabled lands, claiming they are but myths. Tension rises as supplies begin to dwindle. Day 49. Ooh. 50 days at sea. The first signs of mutiny did appear today. A small group of sailors, led by a man named Henry, openly challenged my authority. They accused me of leading them to their deaths and demanded we turn back. Could you imagine that? I mean, that's how it used to be, I guess. Mutiny upon ships with the mates. I ordered Henry to be confined to the brig, hoping, the, hoping to quill the unrest. But the seed of rebellion already been so has already been sown. Day 59. The situation has worsened. Henry's followers have grown in numbers, and their whispers of mutiny have turned into open defiance. I had no choice but to make an example of Henry. Ooh. He was brought on the deck, his hands bound and sentenced to hang in a cage suspended from the mast. Oh, what a way to go. His cries of betrayed echoed through the night, a grim reminder the price of treason. Day 77. Henry's execution has had a chilling effect on the crew. The rebellion hath been stif stifed for now, but the air is thick and fear with distrust. We continue our journey, but the spirit adventure that once filled our hearts hath been replaced by the growing sense of dread. The sea, once our ally, now feels like a vast, inescapable, inescapable prison. Yes, I could imagine it would. Could you imagine being on those old ships all those years ago? Charting out. You know, just a wooden ship. No mod cons, no satellite navigation, navigating by the stars, by the moon, by the sun. With your wooden ship being battered by the storms, you know, not being able to wash properly, not being able to clean, no mod cons. I mean, they were tough men back then, they really were. Morning, Wilson. You okay? You got a nice little smile on your face, he's good. He's good. Right, I think. I think I need to sort some of this stuff out. Yeah, I think I need to get chopping down some more stuff. I need to put... My plan is... 
There's quite a few things. Um, where is it? Yeah, there's a meat rack. There's a wine rack for the bottles. And there's this. This looks quite cool. There's like a storage shelf kind of thing. I want to see if I can get those together. But I want to extend this out a little bit. And put a door in here. So we actually have like a storage room. So I can... I can just keep all this stuff off the beach. I just, I don't, I don't like this stuff here. It's getting, you know, even more destroyed by the weather. Oh, hang on. How are we doing? There we go, we've got leather. Now we can hang that one too. Can we? There we go. So, now that we have leather, can I build anything? Leather? Free leather for that water pouch. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill another Komodo then. That's it, is it? Yes, that seems to be it. Oh, the roof. Oh, that's cloth. Okay, that's okay. That I can do. Plain blueprint, plain engine. Okay, that's obviously for getting out of here. Yeah, so I need three leather for the water pouch. That's going to come in a, in handy. We need the water pouch, especially if we're going to go, you know, traveling off to the other islands and stuff like that. Right, so where did I put that bottle? Okay, so we've read that one, and now there should be... Oh. Uh... Did I... Drop it already? Wait, hang on. Did we read this one? Yes. Ah, they're hidden. Okay, I see them now. They're hidden underneath the bloody chicken. Okay, so we've done those two. In fact, we'll eat some of that bird meat and the rope. The bandage and the leather. There we go. Okay, right. That's a bit better. Alright, then I'm going to get to chopping. And I'm going to extend this out a little bit, like I said, put the roof on the raft, sort of basically get prepared to head off to another island. Uh, I obviously need to kill another Komodo to get some more leather. We've got plenty of birds now. I don't know. So I've got plenty of feathers. There we go. And bird meat. Good way to catch. Yeah, we've got all three of them. Look at that. That's good, that is. We want the feathers, really. For the arrows. Hold. Right. There we go. Right, reset those. <coughs> it's basically a constant supply of food now. And we've also got a constant supply of water. Uh, where were the rest of those feathers? Where did I put them? This is why I need to sort this all out. Yeah, there we go. Because it's I'm getting lost in my own stuff. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There's no... Is there any meat smoking thing? Hang on. Fire, campfire, metal barrel and a furnace. Ooh. Maybe I'll get that going as well, actually. This is storage. Meat rack. Plenty of space to store meat and fish away from the dirt. Increase longevity. Oh, okay, so we need this then. Yeah, we need that. But I need to build the um, <clears throat> the extra room for it. Yeah, I'm going to put a door here, I think. Go through. Okay. Right then, guys. That's where I'm going to leave it. Me and Wilson say thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, ring that little notification bell so you get notified when my videos go live. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one.